Now, pretty much every anime fan has become an attorney for their favorite anime MCs. Dragon Ball fans and One Punch Man fans are no exception. These two are powerhouses of anime debate, so much so that they make Marvel and DC fans agree and feel like trash. And there is no reason it shouldn't be because, I mean, these two have carried over the internet with their insane showcase of strength. But here is the shock. Goku is losing this fight. You need a win. I know this goes against everything a Jumbo fan stands for and also what my entire YouTube channel has been instigating. But don't worry, I will give reasons why. Well, to put it in a more suitable way, I think it's more why Goku would lose rather than the fact that he's gonna lose. Yeah, I know it sounds confusing, but let me explain. Goku being an amazing character and all that has shown pretty much very impressive feats of strength. But that also goes in consideration with Saitama, as he's no slacker either, as he has shown so much feats of strength, it made Dragon Ball fans start to question things about themselves and including their own beliefs. But because Goku has a possibility of losing to Saitama doesn't mean he's weak or doesn't have the potential of defeating Saitama too. There are two main reasons why I would say Goku would lose to Saitama, and if these two things play out well that's the possible way Goku would lose. Every Dragon Ball fan knows that Goku despite being strong and extremely funny is a pretty big dumbass. Well in conventional knowledge but when it comes to battle IQ he's top notch. Goku being a dumb character and on top of that gullible is pretty much one of the greatest weaknesses Goku has. It's because of this Goku underestimates his enemies and at the end of the day gets body in the worst possible ways and we have seen this play out in Dragon Ball Z, Resurrection F, even Broly and pretty much every other Dragon Ball outlet that I've come out. If Goku had the same wit in savagery like my boy Vegeta, I think most fights in Dragon Ball would have been shorter. Apart from underestimating his enemies, Goku has a very annoying knack for testing his enemy strength. No matter how much of a threat he is to the planet or even the entire universe, he always wants to fight him at their strongest and sometimes even hold back because of that. So against an opponent like Saitama who can literally destroy anything with one punch, it's quite possible that that would be Goku's worst mistake. Well, it kind of depends if Goku's god is down or not. I think that can be debatable. Now, you might be wondering, dude, isn't Goku way stronger than Saitama? His feats are way better and stuff like that. Yes, yes, it is true. But that's only if it's anime Saitama. But I guess the current manga version, that is where we might have a little problem. Which leads to the second reason. Now, warning ahead as I'm about to make a lot of people very, very angry. And I'm here to take all the blames. So, here it is. Goku isn't stronger than Saitama. But hold up, let me explain. There is a very big difference with how Goku and Saitama showcase his strength. With Goku using key manipulation to amplify his strength, which amplifies even stronger when he applies a transformation to it, which can take him from a high planetary level being to a multiversal or even above, and definitely above, confirmed with his fist clash with Beerus. All that was caused by amplification of key. But the latter can be said of Saitama. Why you ask? Well, Saitama can possibly possibly make a feat like that similar to or even above Goku's if he's actually pushed enough. Okay, let me explain this one very clearly. Saitama's strength have always been more on the physical side rather than any outside amplification. Saitama's greatest feat to date has been his clash with Cosmic Garo which tore a hole in space and I mean just destroying a couple of stars. Nothing we haven't seen before. In fact, even Goku's feats when he did his own clash with Spirits did way more damage than Saitama's being a threat to the entire universe but let's not forget the fact that Saitama did this with physical strength and nothing else and plus the only reason Saitama reached that level was because he was angered and Garo copied his current strength which of course the only way to defeat him was to get stronger than his current strength which of course is something that when you come to think of it it sounds like something Kenpachi Ziraki would do so I just became stronger than my old self after that it was a walk in the park but nonetheless Saitama getting even stronger than he was previously is enough reason to prove that Saitama can get stronger if he has the right motivation and will. But despite of this, does it mean that Saitama can beat Goku if it were to be a serious fight? Well, the answer is no, because that's not possible. I do agree that Saitama has more physical strength in comparison to Goku, but what Goku lacks in strength against Saitama, he makes it up with every other aspect, like in speed, battle IQ, skill, ability, power, and so much more, even experience. So what's the point of being stronger when you don't have the speed or ability or battle sense to 
to use it. Take for example my favorite comic book character Spider-Man. Now we all know that Spider-Man is strong, very strong, especially when being compared with his black Air Force, I mean black suit persona. But despite all that, Spider-Man still has enemies that poses more physical strength than he does, like Rhino, Venom, Carnage, but somehow Spider-Man still manages to kick their asses in a fight. Because unlike strength, Spider-Man has the speed and every other aspect to make up for it. And that's pretty much how I summarize the fight between Goku and Saitama. Saitama may have the strength and if he lands a good hit and with Goku letting his guard down, it's way, way, way possible that he can defeat Goku. But does the same go for Vegeta? Well, I think you can find out in the next video when I upload it. But until then, that is it. I'm definitely waiting for the hate comments if I'll get any comments because YouTube for some reason just hates my channel in its entirety. So that's pretty much all of it. If this video shows up or ends up in your YouTube feed, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more videos. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.